Hello students in today's english class we will revise participles and gerund i'll start our discussion with participles followed by gerund and then i'll also tell you about the differences between present participle and gerund now girls you need to have a profound knowledge on these two topics which will help you in transformation of sentences and joining and obviously in writing skills now girls we will start a discussion on participle with an example hearing the noise the boy woke up the word hearing qualifies the noun boy as an adjective does it is formed from the verb hear and governs an object the word hearing therefore partakes of the nature of both a verb and an adjective and is called a participle it may be called a verbal adjective so a participle is that form of the verb which partakes of the nature both of a verb and of an adjective or in other words a participle is a word which is partly a verb and partly an adjective now you will also have to remember one thing the phrase hearing the noise which is introduced by a participle is called a participle phrase according to its use here it is an adjective phrase since we have already discussed phrases so girls i hope that you can understand that here an adjective phrase is used there are two kinds of participle present participle and past participle present participle ends with ing that is verb plus ing and past participle usually ends with ed d t en or n and a participle is used in three different ways first it can be used as an adjective number 2 or second to create verb tense and lastly to create the passive voice so in these three different ways we can use participle now let's discuss the first function of a participle participle as adjective now here are some present and past participles being used as adjectives the verb to rise in present participle form we use it like the rising sun and in past participle we use it like the risen sun similarly the verb to boil in present participle we will apply it like the boiling water past participle the boiled water the verb to break in present participle we will say the breaking news and in past participle form we will say the broken news the verb to cook present participle the cooking meat and past participle the cooked meat now girls as uh, we were just discussing that present participles no are those participle that end with verb plus ing so if you very minutely observe the forms over here in the present participle column you will see that verb plus ing form is used in each of the participle then similarly for past participle rise risen so it is ending with n 
boil boiled ending with ed break broken it is ending with en likewise to cook cook in past participle we are using ed to make it a past participle now let us discuss or let us see how these participles are used or applied in a sentence let us first take present participles as adjectives the caring nature of mother earth protects and nurtures us here the word caring is a participle you can understand that verb plus ing that is the reason it is a present participle form and at the same time it is a participle because it is describing nature how is the nature caring nature and then the next sentence none but the deserving candidates will be entertained here the verbal adjective deserving is actually describing the candidates so deserving is the participle and the it is formed with the help of the root verb deserve let us now see some past participle as adjectives the carpenter is repairing the broken window broken comes from break so past participle form is used over here and it is describing window how is the window broken next one the painted frame caught my attention now girls once again painted is the participle form past participle because it is describing the frame the last one is participle phrase now it is really common to see participles in participle phrases a participle phrase also acts like an adjective let us take an example the man carrying the bricks is my father the participle phrase carrying the bricks describe the man so here we are using a phrase to describe the man and that phrase starts with a participle and the that participle is obviously used as an adjective so these are the basic usage of participle as adjective now let us discuss the second function of participle participles to form verb tense now girls as we have already discussed that participles are used as adjective but that is not the only usage of a participle participle are also used to form verb tenses here are some verb tenses formed using present participle for example past continuous tense i was going so here going go plus ing form is used and it is a participle and with the help of this participle we are forming a verb tense second example past perfect continuous tense i had been going so here again go plus ing form that is the present participle form and we have used to form verb tense next we have some other examples where we can see that the past participles are used to form verb tense past perfect tense i had gone so here gone is the participle form and it shows again it denotes the verb tense also next we have present perfect continuous tense i have been going been is the participle form and the last one is future perfect tense i will have gone so here again gone is the participle form which is 
used the participle is used to form verb tense now let us discuss the third function of participles past participles to form the passive voice past participles are also used to form the passive voice a verb is said to be in the passive voice when its subject does not perform the action of the verb but has the action of the verb performed on it for example the painting was taken to the auction now girls you can understand that this is a sentence which is written in passive voice this is an example of a verb was taken in the passive voice the action was done to the subject which is the painting so you can understand that how past participles are used to form the passive voice and before we end our discussion on participle forms we just want to revise one thing that there is another term we should remember that is perfect participles perfect participles are formed like having plus past participle form for example having taken having eaten having played and when we apply perfect participles we apply it like having played magnificently they won the match so here we can understand that how perfect participles are used in sentence and it is just a reminder to all my students that understanding participles is essential because adjectives verb tense and the passive voice are language essentials so your knowledge on participle will help you in better understanding of these three language essentials along with this what is more interesting is that participles can provide some what while benefits with that in mind here are two good reasons to think about participles a little more than you might have done previously first participles allow a sentence structure that lets you say two or more things tidily participles can be used to create a sentence structure that allows you to say two or more things about your subject efficiently for example imbued with common sense and technical know how he is adept at identifying cost effective solutions to business problems i am repeating imbued with common sense and technical know how he is adept at identifying cost effective solutions to business problems now girls imbued is the past participle form we have used over here and we have used a participle phrase because the sentence is starting with a phrase imbued with common sense and technical know how and the second reason is passive sentences have some great benefits as past participles are used to create passive sentences it is worth mentioning here that passive sentences have some great benefits more specially passive sentences are useful to show a neutral or objective tone or to show the doer is unimportant unknown 
or obvious and lastly i just want to remind you that since the participle is a verb adjective it must be attached to some noun or pronoun in other words it must always have a proper subject of reference now let us discuss gerund and we will discuss it with the help of an example walking is a good exercise now girls the word walking is formed from the verb walk by adding ing we also see that it is here used as the subject of the verb is and hence does the work of a noun it is therefore a verb noun and is called a gerund so a gerund is a non finite verb which ends in ing and works like a noun the forms of the gerund and the present participle are identical both a gerund and a present participle come from a verb and both end in ing however each has different function a gerund acts like a noun while a present participle acts like a verb or adjective now let us see the differences between the gerund and the participle as we have just said that the gerund is used as noun and the participle present participle is used as adjective let us see he is fond of reading book here reading is a gerund because it is applied or used as a noun whereas i saw him reading book here reading is present participle because it is an adjective gambling ruined his life what ruined his life gambling ruined his life so gambling is the subject and it is applied as a noun and the reason why it is a gerund and when we say he found him gambling here gambling is used as the present participle because it is used as an, as an adjective third example swimming is a good exercise swimming is gerund because swimming is applied or used as a noun whereas when we say we saw him swimming we are describing his action or describing him so here it is used as an adjective the third fourth one sorry eating is necessary to maintain good health eating again it is applied as a noun and as the subject so it is noun since it's noun of verb noun it is a gerund whereas they found him eating in the kitchen here eating is used as an adjective so it is the present participle so girls you will have to remember that the gerund is used as noun and the present participle is used as an adjective although both the forms are identical application wise or function wise they are different now girls here are some practice materials for you first join each group of sentences using a participle number 1 children were sleeping in the next room they were awakened by the roar of thunder 2 he entered the room suddenly he found the boys smoking next i hoped to find the pen i searched everywhere F fourth sentence number 4 the speaker was 
infuriated by the interruptions he refused to continue number 5 he escaped from prison he looked for a safe shelter number 6 the tiger found his cage door open he saw no sign of his keeper he left the cage number 7 i believed that i could trust him absolutely i gave him a blank check number 8 she sat in the front row she used a pair of binoculars she saw everything nicely number 9 they were thoroughly drenched they eventually reached the station 10 i realized that i had missed the last bus i began to walk 11 the tiles were ripped off by the gale they fell on the people passing below and number 12 he stole the watch he looked for a place to hide 13 i had heard that the place was dangerous i didn't like to go there alone 14 he had spent all his money he decided to return home 15 i didn't want to hear the story again i had heard it before 16 the tree fell across the road it had been uprooted by the girl 17 she has looked through the fashion magazines she realizes that her clothes are hopelessly out of date i offered to show them the way home i thought they were lost 19 one day i will be sitting by the fire i will take down this book 20 they found the treasure they began quarreling about how to divide it 21 the students had a fortnight's holiday the school had been closed because of an influenza epidemic 22 they found the boy he was wandering about the village he was apparently looking for someone to spend the night number 23 the man was brought up in the belief that pleasures are sinful as a result he leads an ascetic life number 24 she was interested to see what would happen she therefore stayed till the end 25 i had to put off buying the house the bank was unable to lend me any money at that time 26 we decided not to visit shantiniketan it was then the time of summer vacation there were few students in residence 27 he gave a sigh of relief he had finished the walk and 28 the last one he found he had wasted his time going to the sale the best bargains had already been snapped up earlier in the day next we have some exercise on gerund combine each set of sentences using prepositions with gerund first he attended to his duties he earned promotion two he must confess his fault he may thus escape punishment three he set traps every night he cleared his house of rats number four he expects to obtain leave he has already bought his steamer ticket Five. He has good record. It is impossible to suspect such a man. Six. Even a bird will defend its young ones. It then shows great courage. 
7. I have examined the statement. I find many errors in it. 8. He took the law in his own hand. He was not justifying in doing so. 9. He made heroic efforts to succeed. He failed. And number 10. He amused us very much. He sang a funny song. So girls, in today's class we have discussed participle and gerund and please do the exercises that I have given at the end of our discussion and do study at home because only by studying and practicing you can understand the rules of grammar. Thank you all.